Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Tawal Mahdi. And today we will understand how to run logistic regression learner in nine. So, in which situation you should go for logistic regression analysis? You will you are having one dependent variable and many independent variables. But this dependent variable is categorical. Patient having the heart disease or not having the heart disease. A customer will purchase our product or not purchase the, our product. So basically, we want the variable which is dichotomous. The independent variable can be continuous or categorical. So how to run logistic regression learner? Let's see in NIME. So we will go in uh, NIME analytics platform. I'll activate input output from here, read CSV reader as my data set is in CSV format. Now I'll double click on it so that I can browse the data set which is in CSV format. D drive. Now I'll connect my data set. My data set is heart one. Click open. Click OK. Right click on it and execute. Again, right click on it and see the file table. Now, what this data set consists of? The variables are age, gender, chest pain type, resting blood pressure, cholesterol, fasting blood sugar, resting ECG, maximum HR. Exercise angina, old pick, uh, ST slope, and a uh, patient is having a heart disease or not having a heart disease. So, this is our target variable. Now, we will consider the variables for classification are age, resting blood pressure, uh, maximum hours of exercise, and cholesterol levels. They all are on different scales. See, this is on this is uh, two. This is having two digit. This is three digit, and therefore it is necessary that we normalize all this variable. So I'll activate the normalizer from here. Now, again I'll right click on it and configure. I'll remove old pick from here. So age, resting blood pressure, cholesterol, fasting blood sugar is also to be not considered. Maximum hours of exercise. Click OK and right click on it and execute. Again, right click on it and you can see the normalized table. The age is normalized. Uh, resting blood pressure is normalized. Maximum hours of exercise is normalized. So uh, let us right click and see what actually it does. In normalization, it will convert the variables into mean of 0 and max of 1. It means that the, the data set will now be only in the range of 0 to 1. There are three types of normalizations which can be done. Mean max normalization, z-score normalization in which the raw data is subtracted from the overall mean of the variable divided by the standard deviation of the variable. And third is normalization by decimal scaling. Normally we go for mean max normalization. Click OK. Now I will activate the logistic learner from here. Right click on it, configure. Our target column is heart disease. And what is our reference category? I will make reference category as no. It means that the constant will capture for not having the heart disease. The variables which I will consider are age, then resting blood pressure, cholesterol, and maximum hours of exercise. Click OK. Right click on it and execute. Again, right click on it and see the coefficient and statistics. You can see here. Now I have copied this in my Word file so that I can interpret the things in the Word file. Now in logistic regression, the coefficient beta, I'm talking about this one, the coefficient beta, this is 1.699 for age, 1.519 for resting blood pressure, minus 2.241 for cholesterol levels, minus 4.20 for maximum hours of ex exercise. This is coefficients. Represents the change in log odds of the outcome variable for one unit change in the predictor variable, holding all other predictor variables constant. This is the definition. We will interpret this one by one. 
Now I will convert this coefficient into exponential beta so that I can interpret it very nicely. Now, what is exponential beta? It is a measure of the effect size of each predictor variable in the odds of outcome variable. Specifically, exponential beta represents the odds ratio associated with one unit increase in predictor variable holding all other predictor variables constant. Now let's do the interpretation. How to convert this beta into exponential beta? We will simply take the power of e, e to the power beta. The equation which is formed for logistic regression, let us write down the equation. Log odds of heart disease, that is a patient is having a heart disease, yes or no. You can see here it, the, pro, uh, the uh, probabilities will be calculated for log it is equal to yes. So first write constant. Constant is 1.409 plus 1.699 into age plus 1.519 into blood pressure minus 2.241 into cholesterol minus 4.207 into maximum hours of exercise. So our target variable is heart disease and our reference category is heart disease is no. If you recall, uh, in NIME analytics platform, we had specified reference category as no. Okay, let us come back again here. So the equation which is formed is 1.699 into age plus 1.519 into resting blood pressure minus 2.241 into the cholesterol level minus 4.207 into maximum hours of exercise. So, what will be the interpretation? Let's pick up the coefficient of age, which is 1.699. And you have to see the p-value. It is necessary that the p-value should be less than 0 0.05. Then only we can say that these variables are contributing towards heart disease, yes or no. So, this means that holding all other variables constant a one unit increase in age okay one unit increase in age is associated with the increase in logs of heart of heart disease by 1.699 units because its coefficient is 1.699 in other words the odds of having a heart disease, heart disease are significantly affected by age even when controlling for other variables in the model if the beta coefficient in the logistic regression model is 1.699 we can calculate the corresponding odds ratio. We will have to take exponential beta by taking the exponential of this coefficient. So if I take the exponential of this coefficient, it will be 5.406. The coefficient for age is 1.699. Its exponential beta is 5.460. This means that for a one unit increase in the predictor variable, holding all other variables constant, the odds of outcome variable increases by the factor of 5.406. In other words, in a layman language, as the age increases, the likelihood of having the heart disease increases. Now, let's form the equation. We are keeping all other terms constant and we are only making the equation according to the age. So, we will include the constant here and 1.699 into age. So, log of odds. So, our so what is log of odds? It is heart disease is equal to yes. So if we set age to a value of 1, then the log of odds become log of odds is equal to 1.699. This means that for a unit increase in the age, the log of odds of the outcome variable increases by 1.699 units. In other words, as age increases, the likelihood of having the outcome variable heart disease is equal to yes increases. Now what is the relationship of uh, 1.699 log of odds with the percentage. So if the beta coefficient in logistic regression is 1.699, then the corresponding odds ratio is 5.460. So if you want to see the percentage change, how much percentage contribution is coming from this variable, what we will do? We will use the formula exponential beta minus 1, which is 5.406 minus 1, which means that it is 4.460 into 100%, so 4.46 percentage. This means that one unit increase in the predictor variable is associated with an 44, four, uh, sorry, 446 four percentage increase in the odds of outcome variable. That is heart disease in heart disease equal to just holding all other variables constant.
in a very simple terms if i if i want to explain it means that if the age increases heart disease increases is it true or not let us check again we will go in nime analytics platform and this time i will activate t test independent groups t test uh, i'll disconnect this from here i'll connect this here one figure heart disease yes no i'll remove all other variables and i'll only include age in it click okay right click on it and execute again right click on it and see independent groups t test you can see p value is quite significant it means that there is a significant difference in the heart disease according to the age now how much is a difference of of the patients who are having the heart disease so what is the mean difference in the age of the patients having the heart disease and not having the heart disease so let's pick up descriptive statistics from here. So those patients which are having the heart disease, their mean is 0.569. And those who are not having it, their mean is 0.46. So it clearly means that as the age increases, the probability of having a heart disease increases. Now let us take, let us do the interpretation of second variable, which is cholesterol level. Again, we will go back and see the cholesterol level coefficient. It is minus 2.241. So, coefficient of cholesterol is minus 2.241. This means that holding all other variables constant, a one unit increase in cholesterol is associated with the decrease in log odds of having the heart disease by minus 2.241. Quite surprising. It means that if the cholesterol levels are increasing, the heart, the probability of occurrence of heart disease is less or in other words log of odds of having heart disease decreases just a minute so in other words the odds of having the heart disease are significantly affected by cholesterol even when controlling for other variables in the model if the beta coefficient in logistic regression model is minus 2.241, we can calculate the corresponding odds ratio by taking the exponential, exponential of this coefficient. So if I take the exponential, it will be 0 0.106. The coefficient for cholesterol is minus 2.241. When we take exponential beta, exponential to this beta, we get this approximately 0 0.106. This means that for a one unit increase in cholesterol level, holding all other variables constant, the odds of heart disease decreases by a factor of 0 0.106. In other words, as cholesterol increases, the likelihood of having the heart disease decreases. Now, let's frame the equation. Log of heart disease, we will keep all other parameters constant. We will write down the coefficient of cholesterol, which is minus 2.241 which I got from here, minus 2.241. So log of odds is equal to minus 2.241. I'll take one level of cholesterol, which is equal to beta 0 minus 2.241. This means that for one unit increase in cholesterol level, the log odds of the outcome variable, our outcome variable is heart disease is equal to yes, decreases by 2.241 because we are having a negative sign. In other words, as cholesterol level increases, the likelihood of having the outcome variable, uh, which is heart disease is equal to yes, decreases. To convert odds ratio into percentage change, we can use the same formula which you had used in, in age. Same formula will apply here. Uh, let me delete this thing from here. Okay. So if the beta coefficient in regression model is minus 2.241, the corresponding odds ratio we have already seen it is 0 0.106. I'll simply substitute here minus 1, which is equal to minus 0 0.89. I'll convert into percentage. So it is 89 percentage. This means that one unit increase in the predictor variable cholesterol level is associated with 89 percent decrease in odds of outcome variable heart disease equal to yes. Holding all other predictor variables constant. Let us check through t test is it correct interpretation 
I will right click on it and configure. And I will remove age from here and include cholesterol level. Click OK. Right click on it and execute. Again right click on it and see independence groups t test p value less than 0 0.05 it means that uh, if there is a significant difference in cholesterol level of the patients having the heart disease and not having the heart disease so what is the difference let us check right click on it and descriptive statistics so quite surprising those patients which are having the heart disease their cholesterol level mean cholesterol level is 0.292 and those who are not having the heart disease their cholesterol level is 0.377 so this goes very well with our interpretation. You can see here what we interpreted that with one unit increase in the predictor level is associated with 89% decrease in the odds of outcome variable. That, that, that means that the probability of occurrence of heart disease decreases. So this is a way you can run logistic regression learner in Nine. For more videos on Nine, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please refer my playlist in which I have already uploaded many videos on Nine.